Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tyne. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install GTA 5 through Crossover for the M1 Mac. So the previous tutorial that I had required that you have a Grand Theft Auto 5 install, which had the Rockstar DRM stripped out of it. And that was because this was not compatible with Crossover. However, the latest Crossover nightly build and possibly the retail build in the future is going to have the fix for Grand Theft Auto 5. If you already follow my tutorial where I show you how to install Windows games on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, what you can do is to find the Crossover tutorial here. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description of the video. What we're going to do is to go to the Crossover website. So I'm going to leave a link to this link in the description. If you haven't already paid for Crossover, what I recommend that you do is you click the Buy Now button. And if you want to get a discount for the software, you can use my promo code Apple Gaming Wiki, and this will give you a 25% discount. Please follow the link in the description. If you do make a purchase through this link, you'll be helping to support me and the work that I do. So once you've paid for Crossover, what you can do is to log in and then join the beta tester program. So I'll leave a link to this part of the website. It's basically their beta testing program. And if we scroll down to the bottom of this page, we'll have this sign up email here. So what you can do is just to enter your email address, agree to the terms and conditions, and then opt into the beta tester program. Once you've been accepted into the program, you'll have this beta tester option here. And then what we need to do is to click on the nightly build section. And these contain the latest nightly builds of the software. So this is 2021, October the 26th. What we're gonna do is to download and install this nightly build of Crossover. So I'm going to download this now. So once the nightly build has downloaded, what I'm gonna do is to double click on it to extract it. And then we have our Crossover nightly build here. What I'm gonna do is to overwrite my existing version of Crossover, or if you don't have one already, then you'll just copy it to your applications folder. I'm just gonna replace my Crossover. And now I'm going to double click on Crossover in the applications folder. If I can't open it because it's not been verified, what I'm gonna do is go to the system preferences, go to security and privacy, go to general, and then click open anyway here. Then we'll type in our password and then click open. Unlock with our purchase info if you haven't done that already. Here we're gonna click upgrade to move our existing bottles over to the nightly build. Just be aware that if you have bottles already, you might want to back them up because moving between different versions of Crossover might corrupt your bottle. Now I'm going to load up my Steam bottle here. Then please follow my previously linked tutorial. Also, once you've installed Steam, you should definitely control click on Steam and then make sure that the DXVK backend for D3D11 is turned on. Otherwise, you're going to get into the story loading bug, which is never going to end unless you turn this on first and then restart the bottle. All I'm going to do is to open up the Windows version of Steam through Crossover here. So once I've got the Windows version of Steam open, and basically what we're going to do is we can either buy Grand Theft Auto 5 from the store or download it if we already own it, which I'm going to do now. And basically, I'm just going to download and install Grand Theft Auto as normal onto this computer. Make sure you have enough space, you'll need about 100 gigabytes. So now that we have Grand Theft Auto 5 installed locally through the Steam through Crossover, what we can do is press play and then press play Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, previously at this stage, Crossover would not be able to install or log into the Rockstar Gaming Social Club. However, this nightly build is currently allowing us to do so. So just let this Rockstar Games launcher guide you through this process. Just press continue, continue and continue. I'm gonna let it install in the default location. Now this is finished, we're going to press close and it's gonna open up Rockstar Games Launcher. So now I'm gonna press play game. Here we'll just press okay and okay. I'm gonna enable cloud saves. I'm gonna press okay here. Here we'll press confirm. And basically we're able to play Grand Theft Auto 5 and we haven't had to use a cracked version of the software in order to get it to run through crossover. And this is gonna have much better performance than the parallels version of the game. So whilst it's possible to play GTA Online at the moment using this method, I don't recommend it until we know whether this is safe to do. This is because often when running through compatibility layers, this can be interpreted as cheating of some kind. So we don't actually know whether this is gonna result in a ban, so please do so at your own risk. I'm just gonna play the single player version of GTA 5. So now that we're in the game, I can now confirm that the keyboard bug is no longer present. Previously, we had a keyboard bug where when you press the key during the middle of a game, it would cause about four seconds of lag, but this is no longer the case with this version of Grand Theft Auto 5. You can now use the keyboard and mouse properly. So the latest nightly build of Crossover has fixed the issue for the Canuck 77 version of GTA 5, as well as the Steam Rockstar legitimate version of GTA 5. And you have a kind of conundrum because the Canuck 77 version actually performs much better than the Steam Rockstar version. There's something about the Rockstar Social Club DRM which is interfering with GTA 5. That's my theory anyway. And I think that you have a choice of which one you're going to be using long-term when you're running it through Crossover on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. 
Anyway, thank you for the people in my Discord who helped to come up with this fix, especially Game.Different, who was one of the first to make a video demonstrating this fix. I'm going to leave a link to that video in the description. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.